Reed? Going fishing for that nuclear warhead now. Got it. Keep me posted. Laskowitz, got a heads up for you. Looking at the engineering map, there seems to be a defense system guarding the nuclear warhead stockpile. I count three, four, five, hibernation sarcophagi in the vicinity. Be ready for anything. Brace out.
you still copy? This is the conclusion I've reached. Whatever happens, she can't know she'll be rearing our babies alone. It's my burden to bear. Until it's hers. So here's what I'll do. I'll keep away from her. Let nothing show, Caroline. This dying is making me a liar.
bring it to the old man. Set was it? I briefed him on the particulars. Careful, Shimshin, it's not the Tsats cam. It, you, you okay? Well, let me look at you. A little pale. You nausea? Any uh, fever? I'm fine. Never better. Never better. Well, I need to take care of this. You need to rest. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Well, do me a favor. Before you die, go to Grace. She's at the helm. You know, Caroline's old room. Like you know things you can't possibly know. Well, the toilet works. Especially, are you still here? You need to haul ass back to mission control and get all your ducks in a row. Now the Haas 2 helicopter is spinning up in the hangar, and it'll get you as far as Galveston, but from there, baby, you're gonna have to improvise. Dynamite, boss. Blazkowicz, head on up to the hangar and make sure that Haas won his mission ready, all right? Not being there for you. Not rearing up our kids. That's too much to bear. I will never, ever give up on you, no matter what. Come with me to the showers. Hmm? We'll take this thing off. I'll clean you up. You smell. I'll take it off. I'm afraid I'll fall apart. Pieces won't fit back together again. I just got to keep going for as long as I can. Fucked up and told her. Turns out, the hurt I tried to spare was mine, not hers. Sassy. Should let Grace know. All set. Helicopter. 
Doctor's good to go. Thanks, man. Mm. I think it's time we had a gathering. Uh, Max! What have you done? This is no good! What's going on? Oh, shit. Here he comes. What are you sure you looking up? Christ's sake! Why wasn't anyone watching him? Uh, Fergus, everyone is busy. No time for babysitting. Well, lock him up with a pig, then. What's the problem? Make jaws! Oh, favorite shirt. Fuck, Max! <laughs> Fergus, it's only a shirt. No, it's not just a fucking shirt. I got this shirt at Kinloss. It's the only one I have. All right, y'all. Drop whatever the fuck you're doing. Because we got some hell to raise. Hey, Englishman, you got nukes on this ship, did you know that? Oh, is that why it only took one of them to level Death's Head's entire fucking compound? You figured that out, old great genius. Oh, so you knew, yet you only used the one. Explain that blip to me, shit for brains, because you are stupid for real. Oh, fuck's sakes, you can't bloody well just go around dropping bombs on random civilians, you dim-witted bampont. Oh, eat me, cocksucker. I'm not saying we chump nukes at a bunch of cities all willy-nilly, pencil dick. Do I look like a fucking Nazi to you? No, 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 no. I would say you most resemble a skitter drukit cunt rag, emitting a heinous honking similar to that of a shite spoon volcano, affronting the senses at full force. Well, at least my face isn't a dead ringer for a massive prolapsed rectum. I don't want to blow a gut just looking at your bleary eyed jive ass. Know what I'm saying? The reason. We haven't used one of the other atom bombs, which would be obvious to anyone who isn't profoundly idiotic, is we need a proper target first. Well, I'm here to say that I got a proper target. And it's a fucking good one, too. So sit your clown ass down, you dumb fuck Scottish motherfucker. Fair enough. Check it out. I sent Specie ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Specie's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base, where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah, wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Mm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. That's you. One of our biggest safe keeps. It was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the U.S. government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell. The Nazis took hold of our safekeeping. Shit, that's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Hey, that's where the top brass clock tails of the Nazi war machine reside. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for? That. This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Ober Commando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range, so we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell. Rendezvous with Super Spech at Papa Joe's All-American Diner and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, 
you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. So, Americans, are you going to the concert tonight? Oh, Jeff here is. He's a big fan of the great Jeff. Is this all they have? Jesus Christ. Can't drink any of this. American diner. My kind of dive. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? Hold your horses. I don't know. Stuff? Practice your German, dear. You will need it. Fast and oh. few Zachim. Hello there, sir. Please, have a seat Fast at the counter. I'll be right with you. Her. Ma'am, what'll it be? It's about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blaskowitz. Speshy knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Come on, Peter, let's go someplace else. But, Mom, we no have any butts. Oh. Bitte schön. Danke. Well, good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you out of Station One? There you come, up. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> mm. Now you, show me your identification papers. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of station six. What is the location of Station 6? I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Ich trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. I don't trust you, Blaskowitz. There's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskowitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I made the pass where the Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. 
Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special, lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come on, follow me. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff, this shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind-reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part, you know. I mean, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses, because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah. Pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer, and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. What? Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico. It's one gigantic complex, and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward-ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases, and they kept doing their own experiments due to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's, uh, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, it's a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology, alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martian. No, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien-based. It ain't space aliens. I talk. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So, I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put 
that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey. Stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains. Ein Feind. 
Männer und Männer. Es war nicht Nichts.
in your pipe and smoke it. that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby.
be the dot you should safe keep set was talking about. the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way, the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it. They won't disarm it. Now, 
You may want to bug out of Roswell before this thing goes boom. Far out, brother. Far out. I have my guy at City Hall sound the tornado alarm. Evacuate the whole town. And look for an exit and get the hell out of the blast zone. I'm almost done clearing out Mission Control. Meet you at the rendezvous by Galveston. Done deal.
too, but my daddy says I'm not supposed to play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colors to slaves and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Indian Scout. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Show me the ring, Mom. For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger. Whoa! Look at this, Billy. Look, the rat fell into my pocket. Now he can't get out. Look at that. He's <laughs> drowning. Probably. Well, save him, Billy. He's drowning. It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. He's dying, Billy! I can tell anyone. Yeah, okay. I whisper it. there somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. Mama! Daddy! What's the goddamn ruckus? <laughs> and in how we, they followed me. They, they pinned me down. They took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property? They're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I respect to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're gonna let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs>
place has gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. I'm in this house with bad memories. So why'd you come? You need a place to hide? You need money? Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I matter. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age. Broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? What happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees. Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Who'd you call? I heard everything. Who in the hell'd you call?
gone home. To you, Margaret. covering his mouth. Not my problem, it's Cezanne. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade's gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But hey, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator, <laughs> popping Nazis wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where boom, body and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> Go. Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. <laughs> Fucking gag! Damn all of you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases, flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far. We make it. 
The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came and ran through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! <laughs> Schnitt! <lacht> Gott! <lacht> Zimmermann! Sie haben Talent! Sie sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen! Guter Schuss, General! Der zuckt noch! <lacht> Idiot! He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfra, kleiner Liebling, ich bin dein und du bist mein. Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth. Open. Open. That's it. How does it taste? down there now and join in on the fun. Anya, my family. Weeks pass, or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy. Torture. Terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. And high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as death. Death, Mr. Blaskowitz. Nothing but swift, sheer death. <laughs> Bailiff.
you, Mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurts so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I... 
want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to... You're breaking my heart. The old and the weak are doomed. 